I'm wore out. Okay, so you just saw me wash my hair and blow out my hair, and now, of course, it looks like this. I look like a loaf dog. <laughs> Anywho, I'm a little bit tired. I'm praying that I actually start tonight and end up doing everything tonight. I don't even know if this is level. Hold on, let me move one of these legs because this does not look like it's straight. Is that better? Is that straighter? I don't even know. I am pretty tired. Like I said, um, I had a full day and then I decided to just go ahead and wash my hair and get started with this process. And also I don't have a mic in, so my kids and husband are outside and they just so happen to be literally right out the window. So you might hear them too. <laughs> um, Cause I don't really feel like going to get a mic. I'm already tired and I know that if I do not do this, it's not gonna happen. So I just wanna go ahead and start the video with the products that I'm gonna be using as far as everything, I believe. So starting off with something extremely basic but so important is a braiding comb. I just saw the difference between these type of braiding combs. I guess I can take it out. This will be my first time using it. Ooh, it does not want to cooperate. Okay, here we go. Ooh, and they just came in so they might really be real loud. Sorry about that. So this is my first time seeing in person a comb like this. And I was like, I know a lot of people use this and talk about how good it is. So I wanted to give this a try, but also it has the metal, um, what is this called? The metal rat tail. Um, and this is not only good for parting, but when you have like braids for a while, wigs, anything, and you need to get in that scalp, this is one of the best things ever, especially the ones with like multiple prongs on the end. Mm -mm. Don't play with it, get it. <laughs> I haven't figured out which of these gels I'm gonna use, so I'm either gonna use this lock-in gel, which in my past experience, it does an amazing job with holding your hair where you want it to be for at least a good solid like five minutes. Past that five minutes, I don't really know what this does. Um, I don't know if I'm using it wrong, if it's supposed to be better with like wet hair or I'm not really sure, but it does hold it for what you need to do. So I do like that for the twist I'm about to do. But then I also wanted to try this. I've often used the Shine and Jam, the yellow one with honey. And that was only like a level six and I had never seen a level 10. And then I recently went to the store, shout out to Alabama because in Cincinnati, I didn't find everything that I needed or the stores were like way too far for me to find. All these hair stores have everything. So I'm super thankful. Um, but this is the level 10 and I do see that it has silk protein. So I'm thinking maybe that'd be healthy for my hair to just to keep it strengthened. And I've really liked this in the past because this gel is so conditioning. I'm leaning more towards this one, but we'll see as I go along. And then finally, the hair that I will be using is this expression twisted up. Now I have seen people use the pre-fluff and I heard that they're pretty similar. It's just this one has the hair is more like tight and it seems like the hair is a little kinkier is what I was gathering so I'm gonna be using this I think I want it to be a little shorter so this is 16 inch and I think I want it to be a little shorter so I think I'm just gonna cut off all of the curls on one side and then use it from there so I got five packs of this I don't know how many I'm gonna need yet um, I may not even need that many it comes with three bundles in it and you don't need a lot of hair for each twist so I don't know how many I'm gonna need, but I got it just in case. And if it doesn't end up working, I have another style I wanna do with it anyway, so it'll be fine. Now I wanted my twist to be about here. Like I wanted them to be like hovering or barely touching my shoulder. But what I didn't realize was my hair has gotten significantly longer. So I'm confused on that tip too. I might just do it to the very end of my hair and then just leave it. 
just where it falls. But I also think that's going to be a lot. Like, I don't want it to be... I don't want twists all the way down here. But I don't know how to finagle that. <sighs> I guess I'm going to have to because... And I know, like, some people are like, you can tweak it in the front. But my front is pretty long, too. So I... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start, pray, and hope for the best. Prayerfully. <laughs> now my family's inside. And they're right there. Watching a marble race, Olympics, something like that. So they might get a little loud. Mm -hmm. But anywho, I'm going to go ahead and take these out because I did not carefully section off my hair so I know it's all over the place like as far as like the parting and everything um so I want it to be nicely parted for when I get started listen at me nicely parted for when I get started but yes um and the one thing that I do make sure that I hair real loud <laughs> the one thing I try to make sure that I do is detangle my hair very very well so that during this process there's no hiccups like there's it's nothing like I can run my fingers through and we're good because you just don't want to have those type of problems you don't want to be trying to fight battles while you're doing your hair it's just it's unnecessary so And I do have some pieces that are, I don't even know why my head is still itching, it does. I have some pieces that are really short. I have no idea what's going on with this hair of mine. It has a mind of its own. I know that I really, really need to get trims regularly. But it's kind of like going to therapy. Like, I mean, I know I need to do it, but that's a bad analogy because you really do need to go to therapy. But I don't know. I haven't found anybody here that I really trust. I used to go to one person in Cincinnati and I didn't even go to him regularly. So I don't even, I, I don't know. But this is what the mane is looking like. And I really haven't seen my hair out like this. I don't blow out my hair you know, regularly or anything. So anytime it's blown out, sometimes I wanna be like, well, I just wanna keep it like this. Like throw some wine curls in it or do something fun. But no, this hair needs to go up. It needs to go all the way up. So I'm just gonna put this up like that, out the way. And then I'm gonna start to part in the back. I'm gonna start, I'll just try it on camera and then check it out in the mirror. Fix it if I need to. Let's go. Let's go. I'm trying to convince myself I have energy and I don't know if I'm doing a good job or a bad job yet. So we're just gonna roll with it. Is it giving straight? I'm gonna take a look, be right back. Three things. Why didn't y'all tell me my part was so crooked? Hmm? I mean, I know y'all can't tell me, but when I saw it, I was like, <laughs> embarrassment. <laughs> Second, I found, I went and got the moisturizer I'm gonna be using. This is the one I'm gonna go with. And I really wanna go with this one because it has peppermint and tea tree oil in it. And it's going to be refreshing I feel like on the scalp because sometimes when you're doing these styles not not this one but some styles can have a lot of tension now I'm doing this one on purpose because it does not have a lot of tension but your scalp can still get a little irritated just from everything that's happening with it so I opted for this one and it's extremely moisturizing and next, I also switched from this comb. This comb, I don't know what it was doing, but when I got to the bathroom, I tried this and it worked perfectly. This is by Kiss. 
This part is used for detangling. This part is, I, I believe, you're like you're supposed to just like comb through stuff. But then obviously this part is for parting. I absolutely love this tool. Absolutely love it. And it worked fantastically for my parting because. Now if this part isn't that straight, it looks straight in the mirror. <laughs> It is now 8.04 and I have not even begun to do anything yet, but I did make my poke bowls along the way. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Because I haven't really eaten today. And that's probably also why I don't have a lot of energy. So good. Glory be.
finally done. So this is what my twists look like. I'm super excited at how they turned out. Even though I did want them shorter, I think that it came out a really, really good length. I do like this length. So this is the length that it came out to. And of course, as you can tell by my clothing and my face, this is a completely different day. So last night I stayed up and probably did, I don't even know, maybe like six hours worth of twists and I still had a lot to go. I still had like this full top part here. Um, but my husband came in and he was tired and I only had on like a light over here. So I didn't want to record because it was going to be hard to see. Um, so I hope that you were able to see the technique that I did using the um, twist up here because that's what I did all the way around. I really, really, really love this. Now, I can't, last time I did them, I did them more so, and I'm gonna show you the difference. Is this one? Yes. So this twist. Is super uniformed. Is this the one? I believe so. There's another one that's like real good. Ooh, this one. Here it goes. Yeah. Okay. So this one, this one you can see it's extremely uniformed, it's really tight, it's really, I don't know, twisty. And then the other ones look like you kind of just, you know, kind of just put the twist in, just threw it in. Now before I did the majority of my twists all uniform looking because I thought that that was gonna look cleaner and it was kind of a different look when I did it the first time. This time I did not want that uniformity. I wanted it to look like if I just hurried up and twisted my hair, um, that's what it would look like. This is how much hair I have left out of one pack which included the three bundles of hair and that's all I used. That was it. I cut off this much of the end. On some other ones, I cut off a little more because I didn't want them to just, I, I really just didn't want them to be the full 16 inches, but I was so surprised at how little hair it took to do this style. Like, this style is really light. You can't feel it. it it's weightless on your head. It just feels like, literally like your hair which I don't understand why more people aren't doing this style because it's a great protective style. It's cheap. It just takes a lot of time. And I'm hoping the aftermath of it is fine too. So as you saw, like I braided it this time and then added the hair where before when I did it, I twisted the hair into it or I braided the hair into it and then I started twisting. I don't remember if it did anything crazy to my hair, but I'll definitely try to update this time and let you know if it truly is a protective style or if it's just cute. I saw this girl do um, what I would consider like a lock style and she like had her piece on the end but twisted it up so it was like shorter. And I wanna do that because I have somewhere to go. So this literally came together at the last minute. I have 45 minutes before I need to head out. So, and I still need to find something to wear, Lord. I think I'm just throwing a t-shirt. But, um, but she had it up like this. Let me try to do it. It was like up like this. And then she put on, I don't have another rubber band. I have this big old scrunchie, I don't know. If this scrunchie is gonna do the look that I want it to. Maybe, I don't know. But she had it up like this, how like the girls with locks wear their hair and I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. So I wanna do, I just wanna do a whole lot of different styles with this. I think that it's going to just transform how I'm feeling about my natural hair because even though my natural hair is long, I, I need a trim and I am not that far removed from postpartum shedding. So my postpartum shedding has been completely finished for about four months now. But if you know about postpartum shedding, that's just when the shedding stops, but your hair is still short in so many places. So 
I was kind of worried about my edges, but I feel like they're camouflaged pretty well. I feel like they look fine. And there were a few spots throughout my head that I didn't know hair came out of. So I was finding spaces where in one part of the hair, you know, my hair would be like the regular length and then like next to it, it would be like this long. And I'm like, what is that? So I feel like this is going to just help me with my natural hair. Hopefully it's gonna give me a break with doing it, of course. But then also I really wanna make sure I'm dedicated to keeping it hydrated. So using like the spray curl refreshers and using different oils like growth oils to get those small because one spot is like really really low like I it was it's a couple of spots that are pretty low even in the front here so I really want to take this time to not only just have a cute protective style but actually take care of my hair as well because it's super important so I keep looking at the clock because I'm like oh I gotta find something where I get ready so I really hope and I don't even know if this looks crazy or not but I don't know I want to do I don't know, I wanna do some type of style like this. Um, but yes, so this has been my mini twist tutorial. I hope that you guys truly enjoyed it. If you have any other questions or concerns, well not concerns, but if you have any questions or just any comments, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section and I'll see you in my next video, bye. Okay, so I was doing my intro and I realized I didn't mention I did not do a great job this time of parting, but I actually like the inconsistent parting. So I had my front layer parted off before in like one long flat twist. And then I went in and did all of this and I was tired. So I thought that this was the center and I realized when I was doing my front part that indeed was not the center. So I still went ahead and did a center I don't know, part right here, but I like the inconsistency. So if you're afraid that your parts aren't gonna be straight or you might not get it perfect every time, rest assured you don't have to. Like you, now it's different if you look at my hair and you're like, ooh, I don't want it like that, then hey, don't do it. But <laughs> I really do like it and I feel like I can still do, you know, like the toss, the toss to the side. Like I think that this is super cute. I can still do all the things um because it's just it's just off balance a little bit like even if i wanted to do like two things right here i can still do it so be confident go ahead do the style all right bye